Hey, what's that? What's that? It's your boy JB Singh. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Real Asian front line out here. That's who I am. Represent. I was, I was a real Asian with attitude. Who put it down this motherfucking street? You feel me? Real front line. That's what I am. But uh, yeah, I just want to introduce uh, to y'all the homie right here, uh, Muhammad Amar. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. You have a prepaid call from an inmate at Ovo, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using... What up, boss? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. You know, I'm at home, you know, in the uh, and guess who pulls up? It's the homie, uh, 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 I, I forgot which one it was. I think it was Soon. You know the homie Soon that be with Grievous all the time? Yeah. Well, yeah, and him, Soon, and, uh, 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 his brother and his cousins and some girl, I forgot her name, uh, uh, I think it was his sister. She was pregnant by some dude named Tuta at the time and stuff. They came to my pad. They they uh and they wanted to go to San Bernardino. They said it was a party. I said shit. I jumped in. Uh, they said they want me to drive because uh, uh I'm the uh, the one with the ID, right? So we drive out there. I get over. We get to San Bernardino. Ain't no party. We man, we're at some other girl's house trying to. Man, uh, we had a speech. I was like, man, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go to a party. And it wasn't no party, so I was like, man, we had to drive back to Moreno Valley. We go. I said, man, we gotta stop at the pool hall to uh, make sure everything's all right. See if there's any issue. You know, that's a uh, Paul and his pool hall. So we go. You know, and me and Paul's dad and the mom, we cool and stuff. Every time they see us come in, they always uh, give me uh, you know, they always look out for us and stuff. So I'll come inside. Hey, what's up, uh, Lee? That's just uh, Paul's dad's name. So what's up, Lee? Any issues over here? And he said, Nah, nah. You know, uh, uh, uh. and while I'm talking to him and Paul, his son, and I look in the back of the pool hall, I see these essays, the ones that we was beefing with, the ones I got rushed to, uh, like uh, 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 a few days earlier. You remember what game was I mean, no. Huh? You remember what game yeah, was from they were from a different neighborhood. They was from uh, Reno Valley locals and one of my enemies, uh, the Longos, right? And uh, I said, oh, hell no. I go over there and uh, the, uh, the, the uh, what you call it? That girl, Amon, that was going out with, uh, with Paul. Amon, uh, there was like the... Uh, I said, oh, shit, okay, okay. I said, uh, I want to go get them. Because we had a 45 on me and stuff, on the, uh, on the homie. The homie had a 45. I told him, go get his 45. But the morning then was like, uh, no, oh, don't do nothing. Hey, uh, hey, hey, jump up, man. You know, uh, the whole girl's pregnant right here. And she's pregnant. And, 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 and I think that girl, Mom, was pregnant too or something like that. I can't remember, right? But I know, uh, so and sister was. Uh, 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 and it was like, uh, I was like, damn, I said, don't trip. I said, man, uh, we're going to go home, we're going to drop these guys off. I have my pad, and then we're going to get in the rock. So I lived down the street. This is that high night pool on John F. Kennedy, and we live by the Air Force Base down there on the JFK. So we get in the ride, we smash down, boom, get in the ride, and all the homies, all the, the, the Lao homies, the Usos, all the Asian Uso homies, all right there, my pet. You know, they keep getting back to uh, my uh, carport uh, party and drink. And I was like, hey, the enemy, we got him, it's over here, he ain't been slipping. So the homies, it was a gang of us, homie. It was like 20 uh, some people and stuff. We all jumping the rides. Everybody, all the Asian homies driving their rice rockets, and the, the other homies driving uh, their trucks and the low rider. Uh, and then we, we smash out. I'm in the, uh, I think I was in the, uh, the front car. We smashed back out to the pool hall. And then while we're running the light, the Asian homies <laughs> in the back of us get pulled over by the car, by the police and stuff, right? So when they get pulled over, all the other homies in the back of the traffic stop. While we kept rolling to the pool hall, get to the pool hall, me and a couple of the Usos, that were in the lower, in the, uh, uh, in the, uh, in the, in, the, in the homies in Paula, we jumped out. Man, 
Hoe is dat? Hoe is dat? In de hoogste regel. Hoe is dat? Hoe is dat voor de volgende keer over hier? En in de eerste essay we zien de homie stutter. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Well, these, 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 uh, these, uh, these, uh, these essays were all five long. Yeah, they were mixed. They were, they were, they were, they were all mixed. They were all, it was west, it was east side. East side, I don't oh, get along okay. with that. They were all mixed in, but they were all party kicking it together. Yeah. And not only them, it's the IE essays, uh, and, uh, and the long ones, they were like, uh, my main targets, especially the long ones and stuff, because I was out, that's why I'm out of the, uh, the, the Harper area right there by Long Beach, I mean Carson. So we, we get over there, and they all out there, man, so we rushing these dudes. The, the Uso, one of the Usos started knocking a whole bunch of them out, laying them out on the ground. And uh, while we're doing all this, rushing them dudes, uh, I guess the homies, they still stuck in the traffic. So while we're smashing on these dudes, the homies, uh, all, the, all, all the homies smashed out and uh, locked up in the traffic. We're over here smashing these dudes, and uh, 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 that, that dude, one of those name, uh, uh, I still remember his name, they called him Uso from... Uh, I think he's called from, he's from Mar Mariners Point. Reno Valley, uh, something like that, right? That dude come and grab me, I'm socking, man. Socking, he put on his back, he fly right through the window, the back window. And uh, the, the, the owner, uh, Paul's dad, Lee, he's like, oh, Juba, you're gonna have to pay for that. <laughs> oh, man, his whole back, that whole window, it's a big old glass plate window, that dude went right through it and stuff, and uh, while we talk, while we uh, uh, beating all these dudes up and stuff, I guess one of the little essays that was in the parking lot ran up to one of the Usos and started hitting him in the back, bah, bah. so while I'm fighting these other dudes, I see the Uso, he has me keep buckling, like he's, I'm like, why the hell does he keep falling on, uh, uh, tripping like that on his knees, but this dude's barely hitting you. Hey, homie, the cops come. But when you hear the cops coming, at the same time, the homies pull up. Ooh, ooh. All the Asian homies jump out. What's up? What's up? Started running. Hey, by the time they was running out, I said, hey, back to the car, back to the neighborhood, back to the spot, back to the spot. Police come. So they was like, they didn't get the, uh, they, they, they didn't get to, uh, a chance to do anything, right? So we get to the, get to the, uh, we get to the spot, police flood the area. So we get to the spot. While we're driving home, the Uso was like, damn, man, damn, man, damn, man. I said, hey, the Uso's wearing a, a white shirt. And while the Uso's uh, hitting his steering wheel and, and pissed off because they got away, I'm looking at his back. I said, damn, why is your back all dirty? I didn't see you fall on your back. I'm grabbing his shirt, his back, and I'm, I'm, I'm brushing it off, and it's wet. So I said, what the, what the fuck? I looked in my hands. I said, man, it's, it's sticky. And I said, man, what is that? I opened it. I grabbed his shirt. He goes, oh, no, he doesn't even know he's dead. I grabbed his shirt. I pulled it up. Damn, homie, this stuff. They also got three big assholes in his back. That, uh, the, the, I guess the essay wasn't punching him was actually stabbing him. So, uh, we get back to the spot, and now his brother-in-law that was there, he wants to go back. I said, man, who's not, uh, he's yelling at the other, the other homies, we gotta go back, we gotta go back. I said, hey, who's, we can't go, how we gonna go back? The police is all over there, they got the whole area flooded. And he said, oh, no, we gotta go back, we gotta go back, I gotta get them to do stab my cousin. I said, no, who's, no, we ain't going. So he started yelling at the other homie and stuff. I was like, nah, don't care at the homies like that. That's all, you know, uh, this is what we do. And he's like tripping because I said, nah, man, we get them another time. So, so he talks into, he talks his cousin and another also to get back in, a, in another ride. And they said, man, I said, man, we ain't going. Also, you want to make that stupid decision to go over there and get arrested for nothing? That's on you. So they jump in the ride. They go to the pool hall. And guess what? The cops got them all out there in the open and stuff with the paramedics trying to patch him up. They didn't even get to do nothing because the police is right there. You know? But ever since then, 
uh, we've been trying to catch them doing some more, man. But, uh, you know, that's another story. Yeah, I remember I remember that they had a lot of incidents, right, with, when, um, back when I was banging. in. Like, 60 it, seconds remaining. With, with, with SA from yeah, different SA gangs and stuff, even in, like, you know, different counties and stuff. I, I, I was wondering, man, um, I mean, um, wh wh why are you tripping like that, man? Was it because of the green light? Like the, green, the, the green light in Long Beach or what? Or they, what, 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 why are you tripping? That's, that's the reason why. Because I was in the county jail around that time they had that, they started that green light. I was in the LA County in 93 and 94. The, the green light started in 94. And they was getting all the, they ended up having, you know, he, he, he was there and uh, so they were, by the time he was there, they already had the gang, the Asian gang module and the Asian modules and stuff. I don't know if they broke up by the time he got there, but back then they started that. And so that's the one of the reasons why when I was out there, and when I moved out to Marino Valley, I was like, Man, well, we're gonna get all together over here, Asian Pacific Islanders, and we're gonna protect each other. Because I, I remember, like, when I was younger, you know, man, those SAs from different SA gangs, no matter what we went, it was fucking, when they catch us slipping, we just surround us and did all kind, you know, me and try to beat us up and whatever, shoot us and everything. Yeah. Okay, in, uh, I was in LA County in 91, 92, 93, in 94, I went back to court in 94. But uh, in 94, that's when they started the, the green light on the Asians, right? At first they started with the uh, VCO's case, uh, green light on all Cambodian, I mean on all GRG. And then that wasn't working out. Because they said, they were saying that a lot of them those were coming in, they weren't uh, representing the hood, uh, they were coming in and uh, some of those, you know, they didn't know who was who. So they said, okay, green light on our Cambodians. And then they said, no, they all look alike. Green light on all Asians. And then, when they did that, they ended up having, uh, they ended up setting up a, a, a non affiliated uh, Asian module and, uh, and a gang module, the Asian gang module. So you know, you have two different modules and stuff. But uh, that's what was going on and stuff. And, you know, when I was out in Marino Valley, uh, I moved out there in '92. Uh, this is during the, the, the around that time. I, I moved to Reno Valley, like, uh, because the LA riots happened in April of '92. I got released from LA County Jail in April of '90. Uh, no, June '92, like two months after the riot. And when I got to Reno Valley, but I was still missing out. I was going back and forth. Uh, for parole violations in back to LA County and all that other stuff. But while I was in LA County, I mean Riverside County, when I moved to that spot, you know, a paper court, nail court, that's when, uh, you know, I started running into a lot of Asian homies and, uh, you know, we, we ended up getting, uh, I ended up meeting a whole bunch of, uh, you know, these artists, they homies, no matter what, I say, look, man, this is where I'm from, you know, uh, I'll play, you know, if you want, y'all kick it right here and stuff, so. You know, long story short, that area started uh, being dominated by us. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. We, we looked out for each other and stuff, because uh, that's what the Mexicans are doing. At the time. If, you, if you look like an uh, Asian and stuff, or Asian gay, maybe they was trying to get us and stuff. So uh, that's what we did. We uh, we got kind of uh, big right there, and a lot of, uh, it was mostly loud homies, man. It was a gang of loud homies. I say, damn, man, there was more of our homies than there were Cambodian homies. More of our homies than there were uh, Pinoy homies. But, uh, that, so we had all them the Asian homies right there and all the Usos from different neighborhoods. And so we had that spot cool, man. And, uh, every time there was an incident, we would get into the ride and we'd go to wherever the incident was or, you know, uh, we'd go out partying and stuff. And, uh, one time, um, there's at one time that, uh, 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 you know, one of the incidents that I almost got shot at, uh, this is with the homies and stuff, uh, when, uh, uh, the homies right there was like, yeah, man, there's this, 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 this car club that just came out, these call themselves DDS, uh, they tripping, they, they, they gonna be at this house party we're going to. I said, let's go to the house party. We'll go to the house party. It's an Asian house party. You got all kinds of Asian neighborhoods right there. 
So, uh, 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 me, a few of the homies right there, we go over there to this party in Paris, down the street from Walmart. And while we're over there, uh, I ran into a, a now homie named, uh, uh, a couple of now homies and, uh, you know, uh, from TRG, Santa Ana, right? They was like, yeah, so, uh, do you have an ID? You know, we want to buy some alcohol, but we need somebody to, uh, buy for us and stuff. So I jumped in the car with them. We rode to the, to the, to the stadium brothers. I said, yeah, man, you know, it's cool. As long as you guys don't got a gun in here, I'm a pro. I just got a bit. I'm a pro. I don't want to get caught up in no bullshit. And, uh, uh, they said, oh, yeah. And I'm feeling something under my foot. It's rocking under my feet. I look. They got a damn sword off under my feet. So, all right, man, it's too late now. I'm already in the car. I said, let's go to the supermarket, we'll buy alcohol, come back. And while we're talking, uh, the homies are like, yeah, man, them dudes from OBS and, uh, them dudes from AC, uh, or oh, in fact, that dude right there, he's from OBS. It's OBS, uh, Riverside, Mario Valley, or something like that, right? I'm like, who? So I follow this dude outside, and some little ass dude runs up to me. And I got to come find out his name was from Agent Crip Gang. He runs up to me, he's like freaking four feet tall at the time, right? So I'm looking over him, and I got a red bandana hanging down my, 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 my pants, the front of my pants. And I look at this, this dude going, Asian Crick King, I don't like it, Asian Crick King. I'm like, I look at this dude, I said, hey, uh, uh, hey, get away from me before you get smacked. <laughs> and he's like, hey, and while I'm talking to him, I, I look above, behind him, I see these two dog, these two tall dudes running towards me. And they run towards me. They come standing on the side of the old boy. And I'm like, you know what? And I take off on all three of them. Well, I take off on all three of them. And now we all out there in the, in the front of the, the party fighting. And then those from uh, OBS and AC, they run back to the car. They're like, we're going to kill you. We're going to kill you. They get back to the car. I'm following them to the car. Like, yeah, you guys ain't going to do nothing. Uh, you guys don't even got to. Man, my dumbass. Man, them dudes run back towards me. All of a sudden, I see something go, bah, bah, bah. I'm like, I said, oh, hell, no. These dudes are shooting at me. So I turn around and run the other way. And guess what? Them dudes from TRG, they jump out. And they started dumping back. Boom, boom, boom. So now I'm caught, I'm caught in the crossfire. I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to die. I'm going to die right here. When well, I ended up getting up, I ran and stuff. And uh, that was a funny night right there and stuff. Uh, Come to find out, uh, 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 we find out later it was them dudes. Uh, it was it was uh, uh, OBS uh, and uh, AC, and all I remember is something called Nano AC Nano Light Click, and uh, that was a funny day right there because I was like, man, and them dudes. But that's how I met them dudes from. Uh, I really met them dudes from TRG, and the next I think it was the next weekend they were uh, the girls from that neighborhood wanted to come and party. They came over party with us, and uh, that's how I met some more of them broads and stuff. And I ended up hooking up with one of the other girls and stuff from that neighborhood. Uh, how did uh, yeah, did, 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 did you know since you were uh, um, hanging out or met those dudes from TRGs? Did you know how um, they started the green light with those uh, um, with with those essays out in Long Beach area or what or whatever? I just know the story goes from all the homies. And you bet. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Because they sort of say, nah, man, we don't know why they're saying that about us. We're not, we're not racist like that because we got a lot of Mexicans and blacks and whites from our neighborhood in Long Beach, so they, they, that's a mistaken identity. They said it was during one of the uh, 60 Minutes thing that uh, 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 one of, it, was, it started with the Asian boys, ABZ, Long Beach, there was uh, right there by a garage or something like that. They were burying the, the Mexican flag, and while they were doing that, they had TRG on the background uh, in the garage or something like that. I forgot how they explained it, but they said they had TRG right there, and they identified that's how they said, okay, they marked TRG for for, uh, for that. And that's how it all started. But uh, well, before, but then, before then, that started... Didn't they do a drive-by on, like, an east side Longo or something and killed, like... 
Um, you know, oh, yeah, he was carrying, he was going to the funeral. And, and a kid got yeah, killed. Yeah, he was going. Yeah, them dudes were going to their funerals and shooting them dudes up. Yeah. Oh, the East Side Longo? Uh, uh, yeah, they'll go to East Side. After they kill somebody from the Longos, they'll go while they're doing the funeral, they'll go and shoot up the, the funeral. Yeah. And then they were doing uh, home invasions and at their houses and stuff like that, so. Yeah, they got, they got tired of that and stuff, and, uh, but uh, we got into it them in 94 over that because they was trying to green like the, the Cambodian homies, right? And we was like, no, nah. if you guys touch one of our folks, the, the Osos, because we had a meeting uh, with the Vietnamese, they didn't want nothing to do with the Cambodians or the Lao homies. You have 60 seconds remaining. Who ordered the green light, the Mexican Mafia or what? They, they told the Mexican yeah. Mafia, <laughs> right? And then, you know, and then Mexican yeah. Alpha uh, approved that green light, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was them dudes. But, uh, yeah, you know, they had a meeting. I think they had another meeting before the green light that, uh, in Long Beach, where they had all the uh, Asian gangs, mostly all the Asian group gangs in Long Beach, and, uh, they, uh, and all the MA, they, they were all at the park. And they told him, look, man, uh, why don't we just get together, ally up, and, you know, go against the blacks. And a lot of uh, the Cambodian, uh, the Asian homies like, hell nah, man. It's crap. Crap. <laughs> hell nah. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't happening. So uh, the enemy walked away, and then that night they started killing a lot of homies that night. That's like 90, I think that happened in 94 or 95. But that's what really kicked it off. Yeah, because it was going back and forth, back and forth back then and stuff. Um, even in Carson, man, it got bad. Uh, uh, back then, uh, the, the, the Mexicans and uh, the Samoans and the Asians right there in Carson would never use a beef like that. Now it's like, shit, it, it, it's got brutal and stuff. I know uh, one of the reasons why it's gotten more, even more brutal is uh, the, one of the Osos caught one of the enemy's uh, sister. And stuck the shotgun in her in her mouth and blew her head off. Well, so they've been going at it right now too, like that. But that's our whole area, the harbor area against them and stuff. Uh, the Mexicans, like different that whole area and stuff. But from what I know right now, they still beefing in Carson. <laughs>